Well, my name is uh, Tilo Hölscher. I'm, uh, uh, I'm an MD. I'm a neurologist by profession, and uh, I work since uh, 2002 at the University of California, San Diego, where I have professorships at the Department of Neuroscience and Radiology. So since uh, yeah, almost a year now, I'm running my, uh, my own lab independently. It's a brain ultrasound research lab. Currently, we're working on stroke, we're working on Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's disease, on tumor diseases and, uh, and many more. The foundation got very excited about the work and so we started a relationship which is still very fruitful. So I got a first fellowship in uh, 2009 uh, which was of course uh, something very very uplifting and it supported my work uh, at, at the uh, uh, research lab uh, at UCSD. Then I received a uh, significant funding to, uh, for a SCAL database project where uh, we use the funds now to create uh, sound field maps in, uh, in, 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 in uh, human skulls. That's the whole concept of this certain project is, of course, to study, to explore the, uh, the acoustic behavior of ultrasound inside the skull, uh, to learn how we have to set up the ultrasound system, how we, how we have to deal with different skull characteristics because your head is different than mine and so it is between all of us and so we have to understand what we have to do to individualize a, a certain therapeutic approach. Well our, our, our aim is to, to, to characterize about 150 skulls, uh, any kind of ethnic, ethnicity, every, any kind of races, uh, different ages, different genders and so forth to make, uh, to, make uh, to create a, a, a critical mass uh, to better understand what are really the de demarcations. Can we predict, for example, that a 65-year-old male Asian will have different skull characteristics than a 45-year-old uh, African-American? Um, so it's, it's, uh, it's, it's very individual, but it is um, something which has to be done because if we know if we know it's about a certain skull characteristic in a certain patient, individual patient, then we can adapt for, let's say, sound absorption or scattering or whatever problem we might run into. And we can literally individualize a therapeutic approach to an, uh, a, an individual patient, and that's actually the whole idea. We can use ultrasound like an x-ray beam, so we can focus in the brain no matter what skull is in between. Of course, the absorption, that means the, the attenuation through the skull is still apparent, but that's why we need this database for, so we can estimate, that we can predict how much we would have to increase or decrease the acoustic output power we release to overcome the thickness of the skull. And now it is at a stage where we can use ultrasound passing the skull uh, without defocusing or without a, a distortion of the beam, which was for, for decades absolutely unthinkable. So everything is all set. We started first experiments, we created first data sets, that's all available. Now it's the time where we can practically uh, push the, uh, the, uh, the, um, the automatic button, so to speak, and just create these data sets. And um, I'm very pleased that we've reached this point. This whole concept is based on a collaborative idea. That means that we provide data, we set up a database, which is then available for the entire community, worldwide, everybody who might be interested in this research topic to use this data for simulations, for calculations, you name it. But it's an open source and I think that is uh, something which makes it very viable. And nowadays, I can, I can say with, uh, with, with some proud, due to the uh, support from the foundation, that we have a setup at the UCSD which is pretty much unique. And um, this wouldn't have been possible without support from the uh, Focus Ultrasound Surgery Foundation.